guys, welcome back. So today's video is a Goodwill thrift haul. This is a big one. This is 47 items, which is, that's pretty good for me, especially one store. So you can see my crazy long receipt. Uh, I spent $252.75 on 47 items, and that breaks down to about $5.38 per piece. Some of them I paid more for, some of them were a little bit less because maybe they were 50% off, but uh, overall I was really happy with this store this day. I spent about six hours, a little over six hours. I wore a mask the entire time, which is required in our stores. And that can, yeah, I needed a break. So I probably could have looked at more stuff, but I just decided to call it quits. Uh, I had a 15% coupon, which really helped bring down the price. So with a few of them being 50% and 25% for the colors of the week um, off, I also had that 15% off the total, which meant I saved $92.75. So really good thrift day. And I actually just finished photographing everything, but one of these needs to be shipped out today. So I wanted to make sure I got this haul filmed. And most of it's women's. I do have a few men's. And like I said, at the very end, I'll show you a few items that had some flaws. And uh, yeah, so if you aren't subscribed, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you like these thrift hauls, hit the thumbs up, let me know, I very much appreciate it. All right, so I should also say, I have to turn off my fan when I film and it gets a little toasty in here. So I don't like to play with my hair too much, but if I flip it around, I warned, I warned you, <laughs> it's just toasty. So we're having a heat wave and around here, 90 is considered a heat wave and that's where it's gonna be for the next few days. I think July is our hottest month here. Um, so, and I don't have air conditioning, so yeah. All right, so this first item is the one that already sold. It sold within six hours. It sold for $70, and it's a men's casual button French shirt. So it's Faherty. I actually found two items. Um, the other one's right over there. I actually found two items from this brand, and I had picked it up, I believe, before once before, so I knew it was good brand. But this style in particular had really great comps, and I'm sure you can see why. Just very easy to photograph or very, you know, nice. Um, it's kind of got the reddish, pinkish, blue, cream, kind of Aztec. Um, I don't remember all the keywords I used. But anyways, this sold for $70. This is almost half of what I spent that day. So not really, a third? Let's go with a third of what I spent that day has already sold. So. That is great. All right, next up, I rarely find this brand, so I get excited when I do. It's Smart Wool, and this is a size medium. Really like this style. Cardigan, it's got the two buttons on the front, and it's got some pockets, really nice basic. Uh, the comps on this are pretty good. I do have everything listed, unless there were some flaws by the time this video goes up, and so if you wanna see how I price things, um, I do price a little high to allow some room for offers, but you can check out my eBay store or Poshmark closet. So I was really excited to find that one. This was a new to me brand and kind of mixed comps, but to be honest, it just felt like such great quality. And I'm not, this is, this is like an athleisure jacket, but it is full zip. It's kind of a very heavy material. It's got the hood. Um, it's got these little ribbons to tie, you know, to tighten the hood. It has on the back this pleating detail, which is really fun. It's kind of a crop style. So the brand is, and it's gonna be hard to see because it's a black on black label, but it says Carbon 38. Maybe if I move it around a little bit, it will pick up at some point. But Carbon 38, I had to look it up. Uh, mixed comps, but this is just such a great piece. It's got the pockets. Um, so I decided to take a chance on it and we'll see how it does. I've never heard of the brand, but we'll see. All right, this is another brand I don't find very often and I get excited when I see the label just because it's usually huge, <laughs> but it's Frank and Eileen. This is sometimes sold at Anthropology. Uh, this is the, the style is the Mary and this is an XXS, extra, extra small, but it's a shirt dress. So it looks big for an extra, extra small, but that's just the style of it. And it's just a linen material, really nice blue. So I know this is gonna do really well. The uh, stock photo is really cute. So I was excited to pick that up. All right, this is the other Faherty. This one is less desirable just because it's kind of a, it's a textured blue, almost has a space dye look, but it, that's just kind of the um, texture of it. 
and it's just a pullover sweater. This is a size XL. I need to confirm that this isn't a medium, or sorry, that this isn't a women's, um, because for an XL, it doesn't look too big. So I'll try and find out, but I don't think I've listed this one yet. But yeah. All right, this is a new to me brand, and they did have some really some, some cute stuff. Let's see if the label will pick up. Uh, Malia Mills. So this is size 14. These are just kind of a cropped trousers. They do have a really fun button accent at the bottom. I'll show you in a second, but just kind of basic, great size, great brand from what I can see. So you can see the little button details. Um, very thin, lightweight, just feels like quality, but I'm not sure I couldn't find, and I did drop this on the floor. So I need to lint roll this. Um, but the brand does well. It was new to me. I'm not sure about that specific style, so we'll see. All right, this one is a little odd. Not odd, it just, yeah, it threw me off a little bit. So I first found the skirt, and they were in different sections, so they were priced separately. But this is the brand. It's A-N-D-J-E-L-A, -E Angela. So this is the... Uh, Kate skirt, it's icy blue satin and it's a size extra small. So it's a midi length, it's got an elastic waist kind of pencil skirt. And then the top, this one doesn't have the tag on it, but it has the remnants of a tag. So, and they weren't, they weren't together, but I'm assuming it's the same donor, same size and everything like that. So it's a size extra small. This one, it, I've never heard of this brand, but when I went to go look it up, very revealing type of clothing. So not something I would ever wear, but it, I mean, this, this set was probably a couple hundred dollars and the resale value seems to be pretty good from what I can see. So, um, and surprisingly there were no spots. I steamed it up. I don't know how people wear things like this, that, that wrinkles so easily. This is a viscose blend. Um, but maybe fun for pictures. I don't know, but <laughs> all right. This is a brand I found once before a while ago, and I recognized the tag, but I didn't get it because it was damaged the last time. So Mason Kitsune. And these are elastic waist, slim leg pants, casual pants, but this brand does pretty well. So I can't remember the comps on this and I haven't listed this yet. I want to say the comps for something similar to this was in that 40 range, um, but yeah, I will get to list that this weekend. Um, kind of a basic, but a desirable brand from what I can see. So A-OK -okay by me. I have a couple Vince sweaters. This one, I absolutely love the color. So this is Vince. It's size small and it's a little bit of a kind of chunky knit. I love the hem, if you can see. And it's just very, very soft. So. Yeah, beautiful color. Another Vince will be in a, in a second. It's below some other stuff. All right, this is my second time filming this because the first time uh, my camera, midway through the video, decided to go into slow-mo. That's never happened to me before. Might be doing it again now, in which case I'll just give up on this video. But um, this is my, so everything's scattered and I've already, <laughs> already shown this once. But this is Urban Outfitters, extra small. I picked this up for style. Absolutely adorable, kind of a shorter length with the dolman sleeves, just a fun, fun print. I think this is the eyelash fringe and it's adorable. So, all right, moving on. So these, uh, I know I got these on sale, so I didn't spend much on them, but they're a lint magnet. And I thought they were kind of new without tag. So they're Hudson, they're a velvet, ankle length pant with this really fun um, lace up part at the ankle. So it's the high rise NYX lace up hem crop, but I've already lint rolled these before I took pictures and I just couldn't get all the lint off. So they are just a lint magnet, but has some stretch, cute. So, and then this is the tag that should be cut off if they've worn it. But um, so that's why I'm assuming it's kind of a new without tags, but I'll just say it's good pre-owned, but just a really fun pair of pants. So we'll see. This is Eileen Fisher. This is a size 14. 
and it's just a great basic denim skirt, not super short. This is a classic size 14, so um, has just a tiny bit of stretch, but overall just a great basic. All right, this is Jill Sander, a pair of trousers. So this is a pretty expensive designer. Uh, it's a gray color, but you can see the belt loops have a little bit of more of a satin finish. And this is a size 42. I can't remember what that translates to, but I want to say it's something like a 12, maybe 14 US. I'll double check before I list it. But uh, just a nice gray, straight leg, uh, cropped trouser. And although I don't imagine many people are wearing these right now, I think people are going to be interviewing relatively soon. So this is a really great interview kind of style piece or just a classic piece just in general. So. All right, this is the second time I found this designer. It's just a navy blue, kind of a longer length, not quite tunic, but navy blue popover, three fourth length sleeves. This tag might be a little hard to show, so I'll just hold it for a second, but it's Ann Mashburn. This is a size extra small. Uh, I did find a dress of hers, and although it hasn't sold yet, I may have priced just a tid tip it too high, um, but some of her stuff can sell between 50 resell. For about 50 to 100 or some some even more so it's a good designer but and the other one has had interest like people watching and liking i just haven't been able to move it so uh, maybe it's because no one's not many people are wearing dresses in the last three months being at home but anyways i was excited to find that designer again and we'll we'll see how that item does this may have been one of my favorite pieces from the day just because it's so boho it's tempting just to I mean, it's just tempting to keep. Oh, I should note that the sweater I have on was from this day, but there's a little bit of a mark. But anyways, this vest, it's got two ties. If you have less of a chest, it's easier to tie. So it's got a tie right here, and then it's got a tie down here. So I can't remember the sizing. Oh, but it's real leather, feels very soft, very boho. Um, I personally would wear something like this open, but like I said, there's the ties on the front that um, you can tie. It's got pockets. It's a really great boho piece. So the label, I don't think it's really anything, but I'm not sure. I couldn't find much and I haven't listed this yet. So I need to do a little bit more research, but yeah, just a really fun item. So, all right, this is another Eileen Fisher. This is a size large and it's kind of a cardigan with the waterfall front. It has pockets, which is great. And there's the tag. I love this heathered gray look. So really great, it's kind of a medium weight, really great uh, fall winter piece. All right, this is a pair of shorts. I think this is a linen blend, just casual. This is Vince, size six, and easy to photograph. All right, this is that Vince, the other Vince sweater. I do need to sweater shave a few of these items, including this one, just because it has some pilling. But this one's adorable. It has kind of the cowl neck with the cable knit detail. It's got short sleeves, kind of the dolman sleeves. And it's just, yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's, to me, I like this. I like the unique styles like this. So. Um, anyways, this is size medium. I think it's another great fall piece. So we'll see how that does. Whoops, gotta move the receipt. And things are falling. And I thought it was maybe an animal in the house. I almost jumped. Um, <laughs> gosh. Okay, so this is uh, C. I'm actually not sure how to say it. I've sold this once before. It also was a sample piece. So I'm assuming they must have a warehouse near Southern California somewhere. This is a pair of shorts, kind of textured pair of shorts. I love these kinds of shorts that have a little bit more of a flare that kind of look like a skirt, but they're not. So they're super short, but you don't have to worry about, you know, flashing everyone. So C slash Mio Collective. It's pretty expensive. The resale value is very mixed, but I'll give that a go. I think that was maybe half off. So we'll see. This is a really fun, great basic. It's by Madewell, the snap front denim skirt. Now it says size 14, but measurements wise, I would say this is closer to a 12. And I have found with a lot of Madewell 
uh, bottom half, bottom pieces are um, do run a little bit small, at least from what I can see. But um, so I think this is one of those types of items, but still, I think a great basic. All right, this is a new to me brand and a little bit of a riskier pickup because the comps were mixed, the Cords & Co. But this is kind of a high rise, gray, straight leg, raw hem, cropped corduroy pants. <laughs> so I found some, uh, some very similar maroon pants to this by one of my favorite brands called Redone. And this just kind of looks like that hipster city urban vibe that seems to be still pretty popular. So I'm hopeful these will go. Um, and then these were a size 25, so fairly small, but. All right. This is a Madewell. I just listed this last night and I already can't remember the name of, uh, I wanna say it was the sweatshirt, maybe Highline. Anyways, it's a little skater dress and it's heathered gray. I guess they don't make this material um, style. They make the style, it's got pockets, but they don't make this specific exact one. It's got the exposed zipper on the back, which is adorable. And this is a size extra small, but, oh, I just noticed very, very, very small um, hole. So I'm gonna have to disclose that, which is fine. It's very minor, so. Hopefully that doesn't bring down the value too much, but all right. This is a, I feel like I've seen this brand once before and I don't know why I didn't grab it, but so this is the second time I found this brand and it's a little hard to see. It's a sleepwear, it's a nightgown, it's Hanrow of Switzerland. This is size large, seems pretty basic, not super exciting. It's a cotton long sleeve nightgown but then it has this fun little pocket accents and this part is silk and then it's got the silk trim around here. So this is a pretty expensive brand and I want to say, I can't remember, but I want to say this might sell for about 50 to 60. So, okay, I'm cool with that. All right, this is a pair of capris by Prana and just a really great basic gray color, size 14, which is awesome. And yeah, I like, I like Prana and I like the size, so. This is just adorable. And I have been passing on this brand almost always these days because I just don't have much luck selling it, even though I like the styles of a lot of it. But this is 100% cashmere. I loved the color and I absolutely love the tie accent of the 3 4 length sleeves. So I think it's a great fall spring piece or layered, you know, for winter, but just so, so soft, size small. If it were my size, I'd probably keep it because it's just, it's a great piece. All right, this is Madewell. I've sold this identical shirt, but it was labeled under the texture and thread line by Madewell. This one just has the standard Madewell top, but it's the same textured material and it's the same tie front with the crop style and the three fourth length sleeves. So I'm not sure it's all the same brand, but this just isn't marked the same way. Um, but yeah, I know this was half off. I wouldn't have spent too much on this, but I like, I do like this style and it does pretty well. This is a size small, so. All right, this one was a new to me brand and I thought it was actually in the women's section. So it's Escalas, maybe? Paris, and this is a really beautiful linen button front shirt with that nautical look. Uh, it does say, it's not women's, it's men's. It does say 3XL, but that is in this Escala's size. The, and I might be saying it wrong, and my apologies, but um, when you look at their size guide, their size chart, the 3XL is actually a US 2XL for men's. So anyways, really nice linen shirt. Love, love, love this one. Tempting to keep it, but I just don't, I just don't need it. And I think someone will really love it. It's wild box, it's a size medium, the size tag is on the material tag, but such, such a fun kind of retro pastel. I just feel like roller skating, I don't know. You just, yeah, but not the actual item, just the color scheme. Anyways, love this piece. Um, it's naturally, or they just, their style is pilled on a lot of it, but uh, I was excited when I saw that one. All right, so this is James Purse. 
This is a 100% cashmere. I found quite a few cashmere pieces this day. It's got the gray trim around the neck and then it's got the gray accents on the wrists. And size three, I wanna say is a large, but I put this on the size six mannequin. And I like my stuff a little bit looser, so I liked how it looked on the mannequin, but if you wanted it to be a little bit more fitted, you know, it could obviously be. But I'll have it listed correctly. I think the three is a large, but. All right, a couple men's, I more men's items. I didn't spend much time in the men's section because I was just starting to get hungry and um, just want a little bit of a break from wearing a mask straight for six hours. But uh, this is, there's two by this brand. This is Gantt. I've never tried to sell this. And mixed comps, but this is an XL and I just like the yellow button front. So I grabbed that. This one I loved. And I think this one will actually do a little bit better. So this is the Gantt Rugger line. This is a size small for men's. This is the country twill, but oh man, what a fun color combo in my opinion. And I think this is gonna do really well. So like maybe around that 40 mark is my guess. All right, this is a brand I like to pick up for men. It is really nice color combo, kind of a medium weight flannel, almost could be like a flannel jacket, but this is Brixton, kind of a trendier men's brand. And yeah, really like that. It's a size small. All right, this one I was really excited about. This is an example of when mall brands don't rule them out completely. A very loud truck is going by or someone's working on a very loud truck. So if you can hear it in the background, it's a, someone in the neighborhood. All right, so this is J. Crew. And I think this was marked up, it was marked 15, but then I realized it was, I think a color either 25 or 50% off or something. And then I had the coupon. So I knew it would bring it down to a more normal price, but this is, I can't, I just listed this last night. This is the field something jacket. Anyways, a popular jacket. A number of these have sold for around the 100 mark. A number of them are listed between 125 and 150. I decided to list at 124, but this is J. Crew and it's a size medium and it's got the zipped up or the hood that you can kind of zip into it. It's just a really nice utility jacket and just a great basic, kind of a heavier, not super lightweight, but not super heavy. Anyways, really great piece and the comps look great. So I was happy to pick that up. I don't know what that sound is. It's loud. Hopefully it's not too loud for you. All right, so this brand is something I've sold a couple times. Um, if it's cheap enough, I will pick it up. This wasn't like super cheap, but I do like the brand. I think it's based in Santa Barbara. I could be wrong, but the territory ahead, this is just kind of a, I like the color. This is cotton. They do make some linen stuff and it's not cheap. Originally, the resale value can range anywhere from 20 to 50 for a lot of pieces. Um, this is probably in that 25 to 30 range, but yeah, I do like the brand and I've sold it a couple times. So, all right, we are getting down to the end, close to the end. So this one, so these are some flawed items. Actually, before I move into a few of the flawed items, I'll show you a few, they got three pairs of shoes, three pairs of shoes. Wow, the heat is getting to me. All right, so this is a pair of Clarks. I've sold this exact style before. It is a very comfortable style. They do have no signs of wear and that sticker. So Clark's collection and this, oh, this is it. Um, it's the Anadel Bari. It's a US size nine. So if they don't sell, I'll just keep them because this is a great, great basic. I love the wedge. I, I, it's just such a great piece for casual dresses where you can't, you know, you just want a neutral look. So love those. Got some Allbirds. These are the same kind I wear when I'm out sourcing sometimes, when I'm not wearing flip flops, which is rare. Uh, so Allbirds, this is size eight women's and they appear to be in pretty good shape. And the great thing about the, the tree birds is they're machine washable. So if you wear them out sourcing and they get a little dingy, you can always throw them in the wash. All right, and then the last pair of shoes was a pair of Dansko's. 
I'm not a huge fan of this style, but I believe they weren't terribly priced and they seem to be in really great shape. So these are size 40. I want to say it's nine and a half with Dansko. I can't remember, but it's listed correctly. So nine or nine and a half, I think, or nine and a half, 10. Anyways, I think it's a nine and a half. That I've already showed you. We're going backwards. Okay, so a few of the flawed items, some of them I, I'm still going to resell, or I'll try and resell all of them. But uh, first up, one of these is flawed and one of them isn't, but it's the same, same sweater, same cashmere sweater. So this one is not flawed, and it's by Bowden, size small, 100% cashmere. Uh, they did not have a wrinkle on them in the store when they were hanging. They just looked so crisp and new. I was excited when I found one. I was like, oh, this is such a great basic, so soft, such a fun color. So I picked it up. Well, then the second one, hot pink, so fun. It didn't even like bat an eye. It was like, great. It also looked super crisp and not wrinkled. But then I got it under the light to take photos of it. What in the world is this? And I hope it picks up but it's got this really strange discoloration. Now, natural uh, cashmere is a natural fabric, so I'm gonna try and see if it's a stain, if I can remove it. So I'll try and work on that, but one of them's listed, this one is not, I'll see what I can do, but they were fun, so. All right, this is Jay McLaughlin, and I'm just gonna list this as is, but it's gonna bring down the value a little bit. Now, I have sold and picked up Jay McLaughlin a number of times, and most of the time it's like button front shirts. This is a dress, which I was excited to find something different, but when I went to go take photos of it, right on the seam, and I know everyone that sews says, oh, that's such an easy fix. It's just, it's not my comfort zone and I don't wanna ruin things. So I'd rather sell something as is, let someone know, I don't know if you can see the whole, um, let someone know and you know if they've got better sewing skills, they can re fix it and get a better deal. But it's really great um, winter dress, very kind of heavy. It's got the ribbed part on the top and just kind of a fit fit on the top and flares out a little bit, probably knee or just past the knee, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sell it as is, so. All right, this was really fun and I have, I'm having a hard time seeing it even in this light, but when I got under the lights upstairs, so neon, I'm sorry if this is blinding you because it blinds me, but so fun, it's nylon actually, but fuzzy and kind of heavier. This is gonna be hard to see, but it is a Revolve. I believe this is sold at Revolve. I'm just trying to move it to see if you can see the, so it's H colon O-U-R-S, like ours, and it's a size extra small. I'm not sure if you're gonna see, but there are basically these weird circle shapes <laughs> that are not intentional, not that I, not that I can see, but um, and again, it's just really hard for me to see with this lighting. So hopefully if I just hold it up, you'll be able to see. And then on the back, there were a couple more, like one was up like over here somewhere. It's almost, I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's not stained. So I think to be honest, I'm just going to sell as is. It's very hard to see. It's such a fun sweater, but yeah. All right. A couple more, two more items. This one, a very faint little spot, so I'm hopeful I can get it out. I've never seen this designer. And Maine, Italy, Fabiana Felipe. Really, really beautiful, delicate, lightweight. It's got a hood, which I love. It's got this snap front, and then it's got the tie around the waist. So it's a little very lightweight cardigan, but right here, you can see the spots. So, kind of a bummer. I'm gonna see what I can do about that. But, uh, and I just didn't notice that in the store, so. All right, last item is Bryn Walker, a brand I do like to pick up. It's a size medium, and I absolutely love this color and just the style. However, there appears to be some armpit staining. And I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up but I'm gonna see what I can do. This is machine washable. So I'm gonna try and see if I can treat that. If not, I'll try and sell it as is. But anyways, 47 items, that's my haul. Oh, this one as well. So this sweater that I know you're thinking it's hot, why are you wearing a sweater? Ah, you know, I like to mix things up. And this was, the, this was handy. So this is We The Free. It's just the most beautiful color. 
There is a small spot somewhere on the front. I'm gonna try and do a little stain treatment, but to be honest, I like it, so I might keep it. It's like, it's rolled up right now, but I just like it. So this might be a keeper, but anyways, that's it. Hit the thumbs up if you like the thrift hauls. Hopefully our hot weather goes away, goes down to 80, where my happy place is at some point. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope everyone's having a good one, and I will see you soon. Bye.